keep things that are healthy like instead of just having salt and pepper on the table we have the salt substitutes if they want to use that they can eat healthy we have the dessert substitutes <clears throat> i have some sugar-free jello in there and i have some uh fresh fruit cut up with yogurt in it made okay. and where they have milk you want milk you always want milk <laughs> so i have the uh, I cut up some fresh fruit, put some strawberries and, and some blueberries in it, and put the yogurt in it. So it's it's a healthy dessert. When I first came out here, I don't think anybody besides the wheelhouse wanted cared about eating healthy. But uh, I've got rotated to this boat, and when I got on here, it seems like everybody's health conscious, and especially the younger ones. Yeah, in their, their 20s and 30s, they're like, oh, I'm not gonna eat supper tonight. I'm gaining too much weight. I gotta watch my weight. When I get home, my, my old lady won't like it, you know? So it's like, mm -hmm. so they're trying to eat healthier. And so that just makes it easier to incorporate what we've been, you know, taught out at the college and things. So mm -hmm. I can ease into it, like I said. There's just some things they're not gonna eat but I can ease into it and say, hey, this is healthier. And I said, you won't be getting no way. Even the chief, he's like five pounds over, he's skinny. And he got five, got a little belly. He said, they told me I was overweight. Wow. <laughs> I get to know them and I get to know what they need. And I get to know their likes and dislikes. And it doesn't take long on desserts. This crew doesn't like cakes. I mean. They'll eat, they eat a little bit on that little sheet cake that the other cook left. We just crewed up Wednesday. We just crewed up Wednesday, so oh. I'm still pulling everything together for me. And uh, yeah, I've made a real beautiful red velvet cake for Christmas. Guess what? It wasn't touched. We just looked at it. So they don't need cake. Mm. So there's no use to bake cakes. So mostly they like the fruit salads. My captain will go through several of those dishes full of fruit salad. Wow. I mean, they'll eat it for breakfast, they'll eat it for, you know, just instead of getting a fattening dessert. If they don't feel comfortable coming in here, it's going to make their 30 days out here a little harder. So it needs to be comfortable. They need to know where things is and what they're, ex you know, what what's expected because if you throw a loop in there and do something they didn't expect so what's this what am i doing where am i at <laughs> so and and i worked on the lower for two years and and he liked hot spicy cajun stuff you could come up here and nobody like we don't need that i don't know what that is or they'll eat sauerkraut and, and the uh, ribs up here, but they won't eat it down there. It's just like everywhere you go, you got to see what the ethnicity of the group is. It's a whole nother world because uh, before I came to work out here, I didn't realize this many people was on the river working. You know, you sit on the bank fishing and you don't know that. You don't know how many people's on this boat and how many it takes to get it, keep it going. And then you just see a boat. You think there's somebody driving and that's it. But it's not, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a whole, uh, well, half of our life is out here. And more than that for some people because they stay out here longer than their 30 days. So.